What is going on guys? Welcome back to your 11th XHTML tutorial and in this tutorial I think it's time to start covering tables. Now what a table is is it's an easy way to organize information on your website into rows and columns. It might make it easier to read, easier to view, easier to navigate. So if you're familiar with Microsoft Excel at all that pretty much is a program to make tables. It's the same concept as like a spreadsheet. So if you don't know what table is or you never saw one before, then the easiest way to learn is just to watch this tutorial and trust me, by the end of it, you'll get it like that. So the first thing that we need to do in order to create a table is to make our table tags. And yes, the keyword for this is table and the ending tag table. So our entire table, all of the information is going to go in between these tags. So as I said before, tables consist of rows and columns. Now let's go ahead and make a, make a table with two rows. In order to do this, we need the tag TR. This stands for table row. And also at an ending TR, in everything that goes in between the opening and closing TR tag, that's going to be one row of the table. So let's go ahead and copy this and paste it. And now we have a table with two rows. We don't have any information in there, but hey, we got a table with two rows, it's a start. So remember earlier I said that tables consist of rows and columns. Well, in order to make a column in your table, go ahead and add some space in between your table rows so we have some room to work. And you might think that the keyword for this is TC, but it's not. It's actually TD, and I believe this stands for table data. Why they didn't name it column, I don't know. It would have made a lot more sense, but hey, uh, you know, I don't make the rules, they do. So anyways, TD and also an ending, TD, maybe it stands for touchdown, who know. And anything you put inside here is going to show up in that column. So let me go ahead and let me go ahead and just copy this. So now our first table row has three columns in it. So if we copy this and paste it right here. So check it out. We have a table and it has one row and another row right here and each of these rows have three columns. Now if you save this and refresh it right now, we we'll get an empty screen. Even though we have a table there, if we don't have any data inside, then nothing's going to show up because it's like a blank table. So let's go ahead and add some data. Um, just write, you know, whatever's on your mind. Let's see what's on my mind today. Fish in capital letters. Must have accidentally hit caps lock. Um, apples. Let's see what else. Tuna. Dang, I must be hungry or something. Uh, let's see. A tuba. You know, musical. Um, ham chops. And let's see corn with a question mark like uh, you know you're asking someone a sentence or a question or something who knows whatever six things are on your mind throw in there so let's go ahead and save this and see what we got go ahead and refresh this and you can see that our table now consists of the two rows here's row one and here's row two and each of these uh, rows has three columns one two three in the first one one two three and the second one and if you kinda highlight over it you can kinda see the border which brings me to another point um if you don't quite understand yet trust me here's a little attribute that you can add your table to make it a lot more clear or a lot clear more clear or clear I don't know what the correct term is but anyways you see how um our table has no borders and the edges are kind of hard to see well table has an attribute called border and you can set it equal to however thick you want the border to be. So let's go ahead and just make it one pixel thick and save it and check it out. We now have a table that's a whole lot easier to see that yes, it does in fact consist of two rows with three columns in each row. So yeah, that may be a little bit easier. So from now on, I'm probably gonna add that attribute in the upcoming tutorials just cause it makes everything a lot more clear. So anyways, that is your basics of how to create a table how to create individual rows and columns and in theory you can have as many rows as you want and also as many columns in each row so um yeah that's it and <clears throat> another thing I want to point out before I let you guys go you see that all we did 
is add text into these columns or table data but you can add anything that you would add in the body for example if I wanted to add an image right here I could add an image if I wanted to add a link or a paragraph or a header I could do that so anything that you could add in the body of your website you can add in a table data so that's how you create tables um, I hope you enjoyed don't forget to stick around for the next couple of tutorials because we are not done with tables yet. There's a whole slew of things to cover. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys later.